unreal what it's done to the cutting world. They call it the Yellowstone effect. The phone started ringing about, well, you know, where can I get lessons and I want to ride a cutting horse. The increase has been phenomenal. The last year and a half, two years, the prices have, have dramatically increased. Dramatic is how you might describe most of the Paramount Network's TV series, currently in its fifth season. I, John Dutton, do solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution of the state of Montana. The show follows the Dutton family, led by patriarch John Dutton, who operates a cattle ranch in Montana. Between the power struggles, complicated relationships, and threats inside and outside the family, Yellowstone also manages to illustrate life as a cowboy. He's done a great job of trying it. He is Taylor Sheridan, the show's co-creator and native Texan. One of the biggest supporters of our industry, he's just, what he's done for this, it's amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Because you've been doing this your whole life. I, my whole life. And, and what a TV show has done is just unreal. Justin White grew up on and around cutting horses. His parents, John and Ellen, spent decades showing and training them. And his dad was even inducted into the National Cutting Horse Association Hall of Fame in 2019. I've shown cutting horses all my life, and I think I showed my first cutting horse at Houston in 1999. He won championships there in 2011, 2012, 2017, 2019, 2021, and 2022. But in the middle of all that, he became a professional trainer in 2012. Cutting is all about showing off your your horse. It's not about the rider, it's about showing your horse off, because they're judging your horse, not, your, not you. So what? is a cutting horse, and how does the competition work? The answer to that first question comes from the ranches of the American West. All the big ranches that they had when they'd gather cattle or work cattle, work calves, every ranch had what they called a cutting horse. That horse specialized in separating or cutting a cow away from its herd by reacting to the cow's moves. You can kind of compare it to a linebacker trying to stop a running back. He stresses not just any horse can be a cutting horse. These horses are bred to do this. They're, um, they have a natural cow instinct. Is, and when you, when you cut a cow out, you can just fill that horse's mind and feel them take over. And um, they're super athletic and they're super smart. And it's, it's hard to explain until you ride one. The first advertised cutting horse competition was back in 1898 in Haskell, Texas. And the sport has just grown in popularity since. It's just the most ultimate cowboy thing you can do, horseback. You, you've got three minds, you know, you've got the horse's mind, the cow's mind, and your mind. You've got to get them working in unison. That's what judges watch for during a competition. Let's use this run by Forey Smith as an example. If he looks familiar, yeah, it's because he's a real-life cowboy who plays Lloyd on Yellowstone. According to the NCHA, the score is based on the rider's cuts, which cow is chosen, the horse's ability to control the cow, and the overall attractiveness or eye appeal of the run. Riders have two and a half minutes to show what the horse can do, really on its own. Once we get one cow out by itself, we put our hand down and it's all horse. That horse, his mind, his thought, his athletic ability, it's his job uh, to work that cow and hold that cow. And that's what they're bred to do and that's what they love to do. They also spend years training, at least two according to White. That's what he does at Rocking W Ranch in Chapel Hill. To start them from, the, from babies and bring them along and develop them and from the first ride to taking them to the show pen, it's uh, it, it's just so rewarding. There's just, there's so much more to this sport than just cutting a cow out and holding a cow. It's, it's just, it's been everything for myself and our family. 13 year old L Martin is one of the riders White works with. My parents did it during when they were my age and they've done it their whole lives. So I just kind of was born into it and grew up doing it. When she's done with her lesson, Elle's mare Shakira goes back in the barn, alongside several other horses White is training. Until it's time to pack up for the next competition, 
Then the trailers get loaded, first with tack and supplies, then with the horses. This trip will take them down to 90, where they'll compete in the horse show at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. It's a full, full on show. Of cutting. That's our longest show. It, it went on for eight days this year. And ranch rodeo. They compete in things like bronc riding and wild cow milking. Sorting and more. The bronc riding, the roping. The horse show is like a rodeo within the rodeo. There's so much that happens over here that people don't even really understand, know about, comprehend. It starts the last Thursday of cook-off and stretches until the last Sunday of rodeo, bringing in people from all over the state and beyond. It's kind of a family affair, you know, out here. You've got the kids, you've got the trainer, you've got their parents, you've got their siblings. Not to mention the volunteers, all 2,400 of them on 11 different subcommittees. The biggest horse show committee is horse fatality, where they're the ones that help manage that crazy parking lot and welcome, you know, all of our exhibitors in. You get to know all of these people, you know, because it's typically the same folks. And um, you know, I'm happy about that, that we put on a good enough show that they come back, you know, year over year. So it starts to feel like family, not just with your fellow volunteers, but also with the exhibitors. The show is free for spectators. I mean, if you're on the grounds, you're welcome to come over to the horse show and, and watch whatever for as long as you want to watch. Because if watching Yellowstone has been your only exposure to cowboys cutting and competition until now. Oh yeah, I like Yellowstone. I like to see, yeah, people know what it is now. You're in for an education. I still learn something new every year out here, something I haven't seen and I'm curious about. Um, and you know, it's, it's free, it's open to the public. So we want people to come on out. We are so glad you're here. Make sure you like and subscribe so we can let you know when we post. Also, check these out.